Oh, Guillermo del Toro. He's a genius. My God. Everybody should see his movies. He's great. I love him. Okay, then. 400 blows. François Truffaut. I was very fortunate to meet Truffaut through his daughter, Laura. I was a student in Paris and I was I was working on a, my first movie, a screenplay. I wrote the screenplay, uh, Sugar Cane Alley. And, uh, and Truffaut um, read the script, he gave me some, some advice. And, uh, and at the end, he became my godfather. And when the movie got uh, the best film, the César for best first film in Paris, what we will call the French Oscar for best first film, Truffaut was there in that room because he was getting a, a, the César for his for all his work. And uh, I, I I talk about it with a lot of emotion because he was really sick and. Uh, and that was the last time they saw him in public because he, he had a tumor and he died shortly after that. I'm happy because very few people, you know, know that movie, The Naked Island, they call it. L'Ile Nu, in French, has the same translation. That movie has no dialogues. And the way that that filmmaker told the story with those two characters, a wife, a man and his wife, on a boat, they live on an island, and then they have they do the crossing to go to town to buy food, uh, water, and all kind of things, and no dialogue, and it's a feature film, and you have to sit there, and and then you just like you get into that movie, and not one minute you feel bored. Yes, 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 Mr. Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock. Course. I learned a lot from him. That one, the lady vanishes. Yeah. And I remember with my brothers, when we were watching a, a Hitchcock movie like Psycho or others, you know, in fact, we, we used to play a game. We were, had three brothers and myself watching the movie, and we will try to imagine the, who is the villain, who did the coup. <laughs> What will happen next? And of course, we will fail because he was, oh, it was impossible with each shock. He will take you all over the place. And, oh, the movie, the movie who really confirmed my desire and encouraged me and make me say, okay, I am going to be a filmmaker. Black or fierce, Camus. Marcel Camus. Oh, of course. Marcel Camus, he doesn't know what he did to me. When I, when I saw that film and I was a young girl uh, in the Caribbean, and that, that day, the theater was packed. <laughs> I will never forget. It was so rare to have a movie with black characters and in positive role, roles. So the distributor, decided to increase the cost of the ticket because the characters there was they were black and people were fighting to see that movie they were so starving to see themselves people like them on screen so that man he said okay the ticket will be more expensive because there are black folks on the screen <laughs> and people wanted that and i i think that i saw that movie that story at least 50 times Orfeo Negro. Oh, wow. Love it. Okay, I think that, you know, one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to watch all this again. Yes.